Hey everybody, Abe here for another edition of CMF Tips and Tricks. This week's entry is a little brief, but it's one of the most commonly asked questions of our video team while they're out on tour. It probably comes in second next to how to turn on the mic. And that is how to reset the scratch discs in Final Cut. If you come over to the computer with me, I'll run you through exactly what happens and why. A lot of the times, students that participate in Campus Movie Fest use an external hard drive so that they can have a backup of all of their footage. And what they do is they set the scratch disk to their external drive so they can have all that footage and it doesn't have to be transferred from the CMF computer back to their hard drive. And to do that, they open up Final Cut and navigate to the Final Cut Pro menu and go down to System Settings. And after they click that, the menu pops up and it's the first tab on the menu, which is your Capture Scratch. So when that team's done editing, they'll remove their hard drive, they'll return the computer to the Campus Movie Fest team, but they won't go back and reset the scratch disk. So the next time someone launches Final Cut, you get this error. It says, missing disks to preserve the integrity of the data used by Final Cut, it's necessary to ensure the existence of the following paths. And then it'll list the drive that they were using. From this point, obviously you don't have that drive, so all you need to do is click the blue glowing reset scratch disks button. So it'll take you to the scratch disks preference screen. And from there you'll see what drive they had and what it was assigned to. And for our example here, there's a drive named Anton and it was assigned to video and audio capture. And since that's not there, Final Cut needs some place to have a default capture. So all you need to do is navigate up, click on the checkbox under your hard drive that says video capture, audio capture, and then go back down below and unclick the previous drive, and then scroll over to clear and just click clear. Then, then all you need to do is go down to OK, click it, and you're good to go. That original screen will pop up, but there won't be any errors, so then you just click continue, and Final Cut should load as normal. If for some reason the person using the computer before you had replaced the default scratch disk folder with their hard drive, you're going to have to refine that. And the default scratch disk folder in Final Cut is the same across all different versions. And all you need to do to restore that to the default is click on the set button in the system settings on the scratch disks tab in Final Cut. And then navigate to your home folder, then your documents folder. And then within your documents folder there should be a folder called Final Cut Pro Documents. Just select that and click OK. And that's the default place where Final Cut traditionally stores all of your Capture Scratch, audio, video render, um, and all the archive autosave files, etc. So there you have it. That's how you reset the scratch disk in Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and we'll see you next week.